Country singer Jackson Mickelson is bursting with new music on the Nashville scene. He has major hot new collaborations in the works. And I caught up with him just a few hours ago live in Nashville. We dished on him being a dad, writing love songs, and performing for his fans. Check it out. Joining us now, Jackson Mickelson from a, uh, a nice beach, and we are loving this background you got there. You're, you're dressed for winter, but your background is saying otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really in Nashville. It's it's 20 degrees outside, and so I just figured I need to get my mind in a different place right now or I'm going to go crazy sitting here. We are here with this. you. Man, we yes. are with you. Now, I know this has been, obviously, for all of us, a very trying interesting year where we all make it work okay so tell us about life for you i know you haven't been able to go on the road what's it been like it's, it's been a weird year with with travel i thought i was gonna have a really busy year on the road and i'm uh, busy in a different way and i got to be with with my family a whole bunch more which was great and i have i have three kids and so it was one of those years where i wrote more songs this year than i have in the last you know probably ever i just wrote on zoom like this a lot and uh it was it was really cool um creating and being in a headspace where it was just like okay what song am i going to write today and, uh different because i don't get to try them out live on the fans and all that but it, in the end it was just really cool getting to write songs and raise kids Man, and speaking of your music, Always You, your new single, it is so good. It's so romantic. It's so real. Tell us a little bit about this this one, because I personally, it's one of my favorites. Oh, thank you. I wrote I wrote the song Always You um, about two about two months ago, and it's not it's not released yet. It's coming soon. We're in the studio with it right now, and I have a couple other songs coming before it. But okay. this song was just one of those where uh, I got I a little. Sneaky, I met my wife in high school. Oh, yes, yeah, high school absolutely. sweethearts. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah, we met in high school, and then um, she dumped me. And when I, she dumped me uh, my senior year, and she went off to college and, and all that. And then it was like, um, I dated some other people, but then always, it, it was always her. And every, I always compared everybody to her because she was, she was that one for me. And she was the one that, like, spoke, you know, right to my heart. And um, it, it was just such a... And I loved her when I was 15, which was crazy. And so, and so I had to write a song called Always You for her because it, that's, that's what it's been. And she's always been my anchor, my rock. And um, it's, it's the, the biggest joy of my life is going through it with her. Uh, I love that. Now, do you get extra brownie points when you write love songs about her at home? Maybe something's knocked off the honey-do list? Maybe I used to, but not anymore. It's a... <laughs> Now it's like you better write a love. No, I'm kidding. No, she she, loves, <laughs> she she actually likes when I write like fun breakup songs more, which is um, I have a song called Tip Jar that's coming out here in a, in a few weeks, okay. and um, that's a it's a breakup song that's that's all about like um, I, I have to find new memories with all these songs because we broke up, and so I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna throw twenties in the tip jar and have the band play all of our songs, and so so I can you know move on and get over and all that. And that's actually her favorite song. So it's, it's a tip jar. Yeah. All right. Tip we're, jar. We're, yes. I, love, I love that you've used this time to really just hone, you know, hone in on writing and new material. So we all get the benefits of it. I love it. Are you going to have you done some virtual concerts? Are you thinking about performing it all virtually? I've done a couple of them and, mm -hmm. um, you know, I enjoy it. And anytime I can connect with the fans, it's, it's great. And I, I treasure it, but, uh, at the same time, it's, I've, I've built my career on the road and playing 150, 200 shows a year, night after night, creating that connection. And you just don't get that online. And so mm -hmm. um, I'm so looking forward to, I'm, I've been putting the show together with my band and it's, it's really engaging, high energy, fun. And it's, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm like a fighter that's, that's getting ready for a fight. And when that bell rings, I'll be ready to sprint and I'll be ready to go. And it's, it's go time. 